Welcome back, Beer Tubers. Ryan here with another episode of San Diego Beer Vlog. Thanks for joining me. It's a nice warm day. I'm brewing up a beer, doing a quad, but we're going to look at the 2012 release of La Folie from New Belgium. This is their sour brown ale. It's a Flanders style brown ale. I believe the, the head brewer or master brewer at New Belgium was originally a brewer at Rodenbach. So we'll see how this beer compares to the Rodenbach beers, which are, in my opinion, you know, the prototypical examples of, of the style. So it pours out a pretty much spot on red color. Really nice looking ruby red notes on there. Got about half a finger of very light brown head on it. It's only 6% so uh, but you know it's supposed to be pretty tart so probably won't last around long. You're already seeing the head starting to fade. It's got the aroma. Oh yeah it smells great. A lot of that really cherry pie character you get from Lactobacillus, which is featured in these beers. These beers aren't supposed to be big Brett beers. They usually don't let the Brett Anomacies finish out. They're also always filtered. Every every single Flanders Red Ale I've had, over, you know, that imported, they never have any yeast in them. They always they always uh, filter out the yeast in these beers. They don't let them bottle condition. So you get that big cherry pie note, big time. You get some of that kind of red wine, apple cider vinegar character going as well. I mean, a lot of sweet cherry notes, uh, some other kind of like sweet uh, raspberry notes, that kind of darker berry. Get a little bit of that oaky tannins, just maybe little hints of vanilla in there. Kind of adds like a vanilla. I mean, it's just prominent vanilla, cherry pie. You get that kind of souring lactic character, that kind of, you know, really creaminess to it. Kind of prototypical what you want to see on this beer. So it's got the sweet and sour nose. Let's dig in and see how it tastes. Cheers. Yeah, it's real nice. Not as tart as some beers up front, but you definitely get that sourness up front, followed by the sweetness to kind of balance it out. And it finishes nice and dry. Pretty much what you want to see from the style. Seems maybe a little thin initially, but we'll see how it drinks. So up front you get that nice tartness. Not as much tartness as I'd like, but it's a, it's a sour, cherry, slightly vinegar, you know, lactic character to it. So it's got a little bit of like a creaminess to it. Sour cherry, big time. Typical of the, of the, uh, the blend of yeast they use in this. And then falls by the, the sweetness. You get a sweeter aspect because these beers don't dry out, they don't attenuate as much as Lambic. So you get some sweetness in there, so you get this, you know, a nice balancing of tartness up front and then sweetness in the back. So it's got that sweet tart thing going. Once the sour kind of sort of balsamic kind of wine vinegar character fades, you get that sweet cherry pie note. You get a little bit of a roastiness in there, a little bit of oak tannins in the back end. Uh, it's certainly some wine-like character, some br brighter red berry notes in there as well. So it's it's a really nice beer. It's just not quite to the level of, I think, a Rodenbach. For some reason, the mouthfeel seems a little thinner than those types of beers. I think it, I think it's missing that really sharp lactic bitterness up front that kind of sets those beers apart. But six percent, you know, it's it's not on the it's about where these beers typically are. So it's not as good also as the two thousand six bottle of La Folie that I had. That's a cork and cage version. If you can find any cork and cage versions of La Folie, trade for them because uh, that the one I had blew me away. It was one of my the best American sour I've ever had. This one is not quite there. This one's just nice, solid, above average beer. So I'm gonna go with a B on, on the twenty twelve version of La Folie. Don't know how well this beer will age. I, I don't know if I'll buy another one. It's a pretty expensive beer. Like I said, they filter them, so there's no yeast in there to help with the aging process. But if you've never had it, definitely recommend trying it out. I just don't think it quite lives up to the, uh, the Belgian styles of this version. So until next time, please comment and subscribe. Cheers.